Hello, it's the Adam Friedland Show podcast. 2024, first episode of the new year. Let's give it up for the new year. Here with Nick, we're just kicking it. What did you say? Nick said we were kicking it old school. I've never heard you talk that way before. Mm, yeah. We're talking finance, crypto, Bitcoin. Is the economy going to rebound this year? You see Andrew Tate came out um, in anger against Israel. He has for a while. He's Muslim. Andrew, Andrew Tate's Muslim? He converted. I thought he was gay. No, no, no. He, he's uh, the king of all pimps. Oh. He's the total boss. They call him the boss or like the absolute big, big dick savage something or other. Mm-hmm. No, thought, he's been critical of Israel for a while. I thought this was like a gay penis symbol. Is this his symbol? No, that's Diamond Dallas yeah, page. Yeah, no, he does the yeah the, the rock away. No, he does this. It's the yeah. rock? Anytime in, you see an interview with Andrew Tate, he's always, he's always like doing like a spider move. Like this? He's always like, I got, I got a, and maybe he's doing the red triangle. That's the symbol. I think he does like an Andre kind of maybe. That's the symbol of Hamas now is the red triangle. What is that? Chinese? It's like uh, in the videos of them blowing up the tanks. Oh, the, like a Call of Duty? Mm-hmm. Like you're shooting someone? That's a head. big argument online is Hamas will, the, uh, the, the Hamas guys will post GoPro videos of them shooting an RPG at a tank. Uh-huh. And then the, the guys named, like, uh, you know, like one of these Israeli guys will okay. fucking, uh, they'll respond. And be like, you didn't blow anything up. It is from, uh, I guess the tank. Their tanks have like a, like some kind of, like thing that if there's you shoot a rocket at it, it'll, like, like intercept the rocket. Which oh, seems Iron Dome, a mini Iron Dome. Uh, yeah, which seems kind of like that's kind of cowardly. I think there's too much shielding. Shields. Yeah, there's, Israel does too much shielding. Well, the Star of David is also known it's as the, the whole Shield of David. You know, you know Call, that. like Call of Duty with like the right, right, the right gear plus throwing knife. Uh huh. That's like sort of the Israel loadout. Really? Yeah, is the most annoying. <laughs> which, to be fair, was my class of choice when I played. Modern that was Warfare. your style. Yo, yeah, riot shield plus throwing knife. So you're kind of. Advocating for their in style? video games in the same way that I would mm-hmm. never be at a. But Italian if you were in the Israeli army, you would have more honor. I would. I would. You would go in naked, no what armor. What I would do is I would go into that tunnel with the shield, crouching, and then just the throwing knife. Uh huh. And then I'm invincible, and <laughs> then uh, they waste all their ammo. Is that shoot like me that's and, like a hack? It's like playing as the the little guy in in. Uh, it's extremely. I mean, in I, and it's in what Goldeneye? Uh, yeah, odd job. Odd job. It, I remember it being, people would get very angry. Mm-hmm. You get in the lobby afterwards and they get very upset. And they're like, Fuck, you fucking riot shield fucking faggot. Yeah. Why don't you come meet me? And I used to, when I lived in Texas. You think the Hamas guys are like that? When, you, when I lived in Texas, they, uh-huh. like you, you get put on Texas servers and you play with Texas wiggers. Yeah. You'd be like, me, me and my partners. Partner. Yeah. Yeah. Those me guys my, are the best. Paul Walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was, they, they can't say the, they don't say the N word. You know who you probably played so with? Say par- Patna. Patna. Yeah. You know you probably played with Post Malone. Oh really? Yeah, he was from Dallas, and he's sick, nasty at Call of Duty. Really? I saw a video of it. Yeah. Is he? Uh, did he die? No, he's great. Oh. Yeah, he's great. He he's uh, starting a lot of raising raising cane franchises these days. He's also going more uh, acoustic singer songwriter, less hip hop these days, which for some reason I like. Much better. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, better. I don't know why I always think that guy's dead. Post Malone? Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan. I like him a lot. Yeah, but there's some, there's like a death aura around him. Mm. There's a loneliness about him. I'm not talking about his mood or his disposition. I mean, just based on his like sort of cosmic place. What 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 gives you that vibe? It's just a vibe thing. I don't know. It's, it's like, like you see a color surrounding you know, him. So you know, people are always like, "Oh, Abe Vigoda's dead." Uh-huh. And I'm sort of like that with him. Really? Like well, nothing. I hope not, he's not it, dead. It has nothing to do with his mood. It has nothing to do with him or his career. Or... It's, a big, it's a big come down. Oh, is he? Huge. I'm not even saying anything critical. I'm saying there is a death aura. Probably hurt. What? If, he probably doesn't listen to the show anymore because it's less good. Oh, yeah. But that would probably hurt his feelings. He probably mm-hmm. loves you. It really is fucking annoying that we didn't make more money off come down. Why? Because it was popular, and now it's bad, and I don't think the amount of money that we have is 
enough. Right. That's really the audience. Because, is because love here's that the segment. other problem, too, is we also sold out. You know what I mean? We haven't sold out because we're still independent. We sold, we're still indie. Yeah, but we sold it. Look, first of all, this episode is brought to you by Nike. Yes, Nike uh, and an iPhone. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying to sell out and then not get. Brother, we have not even begun selling out yet. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of selling out to do. Mm-hmm. And I think that was a commitment both of us made. Because in, in life, there's two paths you can take as an artist, right? Uh-huh. You can either sell out and, you, you know, you, you're like, ah, f- you know, I hate this thing. Uh-huh. It's not fun anymore, but at least I got millions and millions of dollars. Uh-huh. Or you can be a guy that failed. And you're like, at least I didn't fucking sell out. Dude. Yeah. At least I got my integrity. You it's could like, be like, um, the yeah, s- I'm gonna die from from a splinter. The way of the samurai. I stepped on a rusty nail, and that ended my life <laughs> because I don't because I live in abject poverty from from wasting you know uh, my entire young adulthood on the arts. Right. And, and now, and now I'm I'm 40, and uh, I don't know how to type. Well, that has nothing to do with I'm, your life. I, I'm four. I'm 40, and I'm putting uh, proficiency in Microsoft Word on a resume that I submit there. Well, that's not your life. Your no, life I is. Know, but... Nick is an incredible touch typist. Uh, that the audience doesn't know that. Also, he's got girl handwriting. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we've ever said that on the show before. You think I have girl handwriting? I think you have girl handwriting. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's so tidy. Your it... personality is messy handwriting guy. No, I mean, I have, like, clean handwriting, but I don't think it's girl handwriting. Do write a sentence right now on this paper. I don't have a pen. Adam, can we get a pen? Let's get the notebook and I'm not out saying of that, here. I'm not saying that in a mean way. Gets, I'm I, saying this as a compliment. Folks, you already know what's coming. Dueling handwriting analysis in just a moment. As oh soon my as God. the notebook is out here, and this motherfucker wants to start with me on No, it's not a criticizing. No, no, no. First of all, it, they, let, he puts they, a heart... Let the games begin. Okay, he puts a heart over every I and J, lowercase j. Ha 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 ha. Girl handwriting. What does that mean? Let's hear the most obvious joke. You write. What? I saw. I opened a notebook recently. It said Mrs. Adam Friedland. Mrs. Adam Friedland. Mrs. You wrote like five. Yeah, because I was trying to fucking forge your mom's social security survivor. She's not my wife. Yeah, I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying to steal the money you get for your dead mom from the government. She's not Mrs. Adam Friedland. You were mm-hmm. writing that because you said, and you said, am I going to live in a mansion, a house, an apartment, or sewage? What, what what sentence are you writing? I'm writing Mrs. Adam Friedland. Okay. Mrs. Can you Mr. see that? Mullen. Should I write it big? Should I write it big? Okay, here. Hold on. Let me write it big so that the camera can see. All right. So let's do a little comparison. I don't love my handwriting. That's girl handwriting. I don't love my handwriting. Go up to the, your camera so they can see. I don't need. To, I wrote it big so they can see. No, you can, let's. We, what's that? That's fine. You're punching in. So I'll write it bigger. And then let's. This is my impression of Adam's signature. I changed my signature. I decided it was embarrassing. You decided it was embarrassing? I came up with it when I was like in, in a eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not doing my actual. All right, this is my handwriting. Yeah, that's not even, I mean, that's just... So do some analysis on my handwriting. I mean, it's funny. It's like you look at this. What do you make of that? If I were an FBI profiler, I would say, this man has no internal monologue whatsoever. What do you mean? You think I'm just an empty vessel? This is just a fucking, yeah. This is, this looks like a Chinese person copied letters out of, out of like a, a school workbook with no understanding of the meaning behind them. I know what that sentence these are just, means. And these that's, are, no, there's no, I didn't, here. There's, there's no irony there. That was a genuine sentence that I wrote genuinely with a brain full of yeah. love. Here's Adam. How's that Chinese? Here's Adam's signature. 
That's Adam's. That's how Adam's signature looks. What is it? That's cool. It's hip hop style. It's, it's every letter. No, that's a, graffiti hip hop. Every style. letter is a different type of nose. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, it is good. It is good. The M is really good. It's like um, what's his name? That comic strip. What's his name? Izzy. Peanuts. Or? No, no, Izzy. What was that comic strip? It was about a guy with a nose like that. Ziggy. Ziggy. Fuck. How's your spelling? My oh, spelling? fuck. I spelled it wrong again. My spelling? Yeah. I'm bad speller. That's also another thing that I mean. And I, feel I gotta get another. I gotta get another eye exam. All right, analyze this. Analyze this. FBI. Hey, you're. Uh, hey, you looking at my penis? <laughs> that's good. Hey, hey welcome to therapy. Hey, fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, I have a that's penis. Me, meet the parents. I have a penis. Greg. I have a penis. Can you fuck me? Do you know that the Sopranos and that came out the, like within three months? Analyze penis. Analyze yeah. penis. Yeah. Yeah. They were both about. Mafiosos showing their penis mm -hmm. to Billy. Well, now Chris. I have both notebooks here. I don't understand what's going on. Let me see your handwriting. I want to do a little analysis. Okay. I am Jodie Foster in in Silence of the Lambs. Mr. Lecter. Mr. Lecter. Mr. Lecter. Mr. Lecter. That man next door threw cum on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Clarice. <laughs> I loved how he had good manners. How was your meeting? Yeah, that Anthony, what's it, Anthony Heald is the head of the hospital. How was your meeting with Dr. Lecter? Oh, I was pretty good, but the guy next to him threw a cum on my face. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want to let you know before I get out of here, there's, there's a man uh, in the cell next to Hannibal Lecter. He throws cum. He threw a handful of cum in my face. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I am an FBI agent, so... I have something to confess to, Nick. What? Here you go. I beat off at the office yesterday. Why? Why would you tell me that? Because I got to be honest. What did you wear? Adam left. I got a horny for a minute. Beat off into a paper towel. But in Threw where? it out in the bathroom. But where? Onto a paper towel. But on the couch you beat No, off? in the utility room standing. In my chair? Not in your chair. All standing. Right. And I caught all the cum. I just feel like I have to be honest with you, you and I have your, to be honest with the audience. I don't want you putting your bare ass on my chair. I'm not doing that to jerk off. I'm doing that in a kind of a January 6th style. Oh, Nancy Pelosi. See how he man. likes this. I really can only, you can only hope that Nancy Pelosi's been getting like fucked up UTIs from that guy's From like, the, that feces. guy? Yeah. That she's just getting that she's still to this day. She's, she's had like, she's had pink eye. For, my pussy. She's hurts. had pink eye for three yeah. years. <laughs> my pussy stinky again, and I. Don't, and it's because she's just getting there's still shit particles. Wait, on so the desk. is this sentence the handwriting sample like standard sentence? It's the one that to demonstrate a font. A font. The is quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so because I. It has every letter in there. Because I said that he has girl handwriting, he's trying to do this more guy style. But That's it's what still, my handwriting looks No, like. it's still girl. Have me write it. Have me, look, I'll do it with my left you hand. You do B this style? What? That's this a lowercase. No, I do a B like that. What are you doing? You can't, you're just doing art always? Let me see. That, that, you wrote an uppercase B small? That's how you write B? That's an uppercase. That's too B. creative. That's an uppercase B. That's brown not. is not a proper noun. The quick brown fox. All the letters in there are uppercase. I only write uppercase letters. What are you fucking Pablo Picasso? Look at how I write. I, none of I don't use lowercase letters. You only write an upper? Yeah, I've always done that. Really? When society you zigs, you zag. You, well, you just have a choice. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have a choice if you want to get an A and write in right in. Uh, Penmanship class. I don't know. Let me see if I can even remember how to. You don't know lowercase? Do you remember cursive? Yeah. Oh, this is weird. I haven't done this since. I'm like, going to do cursive third. right now.
I haven't seen. What is it? Oh, this is like a loopy. Shit, I'm, this looks crap. Why do they teach cursive? Yeah, that's 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 what that's what lowercase looks like if I write it. But I don't recognize that. That doesn't look like my handwriting to me. Wow. You know, you should have been an architect. You have very architectural handwriting. My dad has lovely handwriting. Yeah. Yeah. My, my. I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write. Dear, dear diary. Don't come on. Dear. You don't know his internal diary. Name. It's me. <laughs> come on, he's a good man. Max. <laughs> oh, parentheses. The homo, by the way. Stop it. Come Let's on. keep that between us. I'm going to call him right now and tell him what you're doing. The homo, by the way. He cares a lot about you, Nick. Let's keep that one between us. A eh, old diary, pal? Oh, okay, because this is his secret diary. No one's allowed to see it. That, yeah, right. Of That's course. funny. That's really funny. That one. I would, never, I would never speak this way about your father. From my I lips. I would respect him. From my lips to God's penis. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's it for the day. Just checking in to let you know I'm gay. <laughs> Sincerely, Adam's dad. So mean, dude. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. All yeah, right, this is my cursive. No, he. I had a. He was watching the mm -hmm. podcast pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. What do you think about my? Didn't cursive? we already do this back when Dave was? No, we did drawings. We did drawings. Okay. You know, let me see what my cursive looks like. Okay. I don't know if even if I remember cursive. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, because you were like lighting fires in the back of class. Yeah, no, I mean like eating what's, bugs. What's the? How do you do like the Q? Like the Q is like uh, upper Q is a two. Yeah, it's a two or something. Yeah, it's a two with a little loopy bottom. What a useless talent. Oh, Nick, I have a good idea for the rest of the podcast. What? We try to prove that t telepathy is real, right? Uh huh. And you oh, and I both good. think of a word, we'll both write it down, and then we'll see if we thought of the same word. I'm going to start doing this like. Uh, Do we this, have a read? Like, I'm doing like the Benjamin Franklin S's too. What is that? And like the F's. Let me see. Hold on. The. You really should have gone to one of those, like, Montessori's. Oh, uh, yeah? That's that shit, dude. Is that cursive? That's really bad. That's I know, shit. I don't know cursive. That's really crap. Let me see. Let me see. Let me try again. Let me try again. Why was that guy John Hancock like that, you know? You think everyone else is like, this guy fucking sucks. All right. Do we have a read or no? I, I want to get back to penmanship episode. All right. I mean, do is it now the time for the read? No, I thought we have to do it at a slot. I'll do the read now. Is that cursive? Yeah, it's terrible cursive. I don't know cursive. Yeah, because you weren't paying attention. I don't. I don't know lowercase letters either. You write in all caps. Why not? That's so artistic. No, a lot of people do. No one. Everyone does. in my family does. Really? Mm-hmm. You write know. You do? I think most artists do. I'm not an artist. Exactly. I went. I'm a to conformist. All right. The dead guys. The episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? <laughs> I barely do. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen yeah. up. It's going to make you. your Luigi's Mansion 3 penis feel like a Luigi's Mansion 1 penis. Right. I want to get those 13-year-old baby video game penis back. Mm -hmm. um, Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them any time, day or night, uh, so hey, you can look, plan this, ahead. Look, so ahead. Take, this is this is Alex Huggins' handwriting that I found on here. Let me see it. It's almost identical to mine. We have the same hair. It's more boy. In what way? Who did this drawing? I wasn't here. Alex, yeah, Alex did that. 
We were oh, all my back? Yeah, yeah. He drew Steven. It's not funny to do if I'm not here. Oh, oh it's a drawing of you, too? Yeah. Yeah. He got Steven you. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with their licensed medical providers, and once you are approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, folks. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. I would never trust a boner pill from China. I, honestly, any other product I would take from China, but except for something to do with my penis. And no offense to China. I mean, it's just... I only trust my countrymen when it comes to my getting my dick hard. Does it work? Do you need it? Try it free for a month and see. You'll, you're going to love it. Um, but you could be missing out on the best sex of your life. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman. It's a little sus. What? With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman. Is that movie even horny? Oh, I remember with Kevin Costner. That was yeah. a bad movie. Are, wait, is that really in the copy? Yeah, well, I, they're excited to see the postman because he's bringing their dick pills. But Oh, they mean the mailman. This yeah. is written by like a British person. That, but the postman was also say, like this, the lady. This is what I don't understand. It's like these, these companies, like, yeah. you know, like we've been working with Blue Chew for years, right? And for most part, like they give us like autonomy. But when you talk to these like sponsors, they put their marketing people on the phone and they're like, oh, this is exactly what we need. Meanwhile, they're hiring some British person to write this. It's like, oh, you'll be so happy to see, to see the, post- the postman. It's like, and then every American person who, and let's be honest, there's not that many British people who listen. To, I don't even know who the fuck, it's just your dad is watching the My show. My dad watches about uh, 100,000 100, times. Is your dad's the only person who watches the show Yeah, anymore. and he, he does it on different but, devices. Well, but I, get, I guess he is British, so maybe they know more than... He's not proper British. He lived in there, but... He's no, he's Israeli. He's, he's, he's indigenous. From, he's to, Cape Tonian. He's indigenous to, to South Africa. My family, my family are indigenous. To South Africa. South Africa and we Israel. are we are Zulu. Uh-huh. We're Koza. Yeah. We're not indigenous to Israel. Yeah. Um, oh, this is the second half of the sentence. It gets better. Excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. So this, the mailman is bringing your penis. Yeah, right. To you, your package is right. Meaning it's like it's an arrival. Like it's like your. This is the moment your dick's been waiting for. <laughs> but also the postman, from my understanding, is that the joke is that you, you know the, your child looks like the postman, right? Mm. The postman historically was some guy that was fucking wives. All, well, everyone was at World War II. He got a def, he got four H or whatever it's called, and he was just syphilis. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he was banging like... What uh, is the 4-H club? What does that stand for? It's for like... Uh, Hormos, hockey, Dude. hoe kicks, and hoe downs. Well, we say a lot of offensive stuff on this, but come on. Is that offensive? You don't want to... That's what I'm just guessing a, what the 4-H club... It's America's future farmers. You don't want to fucking... I don't know what they do. I've just heard... That's the thing. It's like you're in a club at school to be like... I remember it being... We're making a pig 800 pounds. I remember being a kid and hearing 4-H club and yeah. before, without any information, deciding my brain... Because my brain's done this with a lot of things in my life, saying, I'm never going to know what that... I'm not, I don't want to know. I'm just going to not learn what I don't need is. no part of that. And there's other things like that where as a kid it was like, yeah, just don't learn. Don't. Yeah. This seems like it's not important. Don't ever know what this is. I don't know if I can spell restaurant. That's like a, that's a, a Patrice O'Neill joke. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I've ever gotten it right. I think I just have uh, like a autocorrect. Mm-hmm. I think it's wrong every time I write it. Star? St- Stour? A-U? Huh? That's a Patrice bit? Uh, I think so. I think, yeah. Old genius. Two geniuses. Yeah. You know, two genius. Okay. Uh, They say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Shoe can give you help uh, to get confidence where it counts. So they want to help you have better sex. (laughs) So discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. Here's the deal, guys. You pay $5 shipping. After you're approved, you get your first month's shipment free. If you don't like it, you can cancel. I think you're going to fucking like it because the postman is going to 
He's good. You're gonna you're gonna fuck the shit out of the postman when he arrives. When your package has arrived, there's nothing I love more your than your package. Then has taking arrived. taking a blue chew and then sitting down to watch the postman on on DVD mm-hmm. and just having my just my penis just just be hard sitting there watching Kevin Costner. I definitely saw that movie. Being like the mail's here, or whatever the fuck happens. <laughs> I think it was post apocalypse. I, I know it's the ra- it's raining, but the mail's here. Yeah. You're... <laughs> Your package has arrived. Yeah, welcome to Montana. Welcome to my dick. Did you see it's like he destroyed his marriage by doing too much cowboy movies? Really? That's what I think happened. He was he was beating the shit out of her. He wasn't beating his wife. He just was like never home because he's like I, he had to, like he was spending the whole time doing like Yellowstone. Girls are so annoying. It's yeah. her fault. Yeah, probably. I blame That's her. her. That's probably the reality. Can you imagine how cool it would be to be exclusively a cowboy actor? Mm-hmm. I mean, well, because there was something, there was something about like the, the the divorce papers or whatever the court, you know, like the celebrity news where they just, for some reason, like TMZ reporters are allowed access to celebrity divorce. Like, <laughs> I guess that's just how the courts work. I don't know. That should be sealed. If it's presented as evidence in a trial, I guess it's public. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's like her lawyers were like, well, she needs seven hundred fifty thousand dollars every month for sh- buying purses. For the children. And she got it. Uh, it's some it was massive amount of money. The alimony and child support is insane. She's like, our children are used to... Because the argument is, is that, like... Their standard of living. Well, they don't... Yeah, exactly. If you get a divorce, it's like, he's a movie star, so then the kids are going to like him more because mm-hmm. when they're with him, they can go do movie star with shit. When they're with her, she's just some, like, you know, fucking lady that spends money. I don't know, like... What which the hell is she? Which doing? honestly, it seems like it's going to backfire because your kids are going to grow up and they're going to be like, "Oh yeah, my mom was just a parasite." Who is her mom? Who's who is their mom? I don't think she. She did, literally doesn't. What do if it's anything. Madeline Albright? It was what like if a, it's a very impressive. It was woman? a woman. It was a woman. It's not Madeline Albright. She's dead. I looked into it. It's not her. You were like a. It's be. not. It's not the. It's not the prime minister of Phew. Italy either. It's not Janet Reno. It's, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not that mm-hmm. Italian lady. That's. Yeah. The, like, the sexy fascist. Yeah, she's right wing, right? It's surprising she doesn't have more power globally than she does. The sexy fascist? Yeah, just like a fucking like... Well, you know what she could do? Get OnlyFans, take back shots. Uh, that lady like that doesn't need to. She, people love back shot yeah. videos. That's the kind of lady that like literally everyone you're talking to her and you think, I'm like, can I fuck this lady? <laughs> you know, like because she's just Italian. <laughs> Cause she's just being Italian. She's yeah. just smoking cigarettes and being Italian. And you're like, is this lady trying to fuck me? Of course, dude. Is she? Yeah, probably. Uh-huh. Have you seen the Rocco Cifaretti documentary? The one about that Italian porn star guy? No. But there's a really there's a really funny scene. Is in it, it Errol Morris? Yeah, I think it's uh no, it's a uh, uh, Landsman, the guy that did Showa, Cloud Landsman. Um, there's a scene where he talks about fucking like. It, he's so Italian that it's like the passion that he has for like like it, he's a sculptor and it's his marble like just fucking is his his art or whatever mm. and for some reason it sounds tight because he's Italian but then there's a scene of him like I guess his grandma's friend when he was a little kid it would be cool to have er- if Errol Morris did it and while he's speaking <laughs> like one of those like Errol Morris like r- r- like uh, like artistic kind of reenactments yeah, yeah. inserted and it's just sort of a man standing in a black room just uh, you know like with low key lighting and he's just standing there expressionless and his penis is getting hard <laughs> and it's a guy that looks like him as uh-huh. you know yeah so Freddie's talking it, that that would be a very Errol Morris. It's comedy. awesome. Yeah, yeah, that would be an awesome idea. Yeah. Well, there's like a scene where he describes. I think it was his grandma's friend. Errol's a funny name. You know what I was thinking about? You know what's crazy is that and his grandma's friend fucks him. He's like twelve. Yeah. yeah. Is that? That's it. There was a there's a Supreme Court justice named Clarence Thomas, a black guy named Clarence Thomas. That's yeah, awesome. Because I mean, already just becoming a Supreme Court justice is a black guy. Yeah. That's like diff, That's like a. That's a big deal. You know, as any any guy, as anybody, yeah. but you know, black people or whatever, it's like that's they face adversity and stuff. But being a black guy named Clarence, also, uh-huh. like to become a Supreme Court, like that guy, usually it's like, I like I'm a I'm a black guy named Clarence Thomas. Like you can the number one thing you can aim for is probably like annoying retarded guy at the hobby store a guy yelling about how tim duncan actually the best player of all time i'm not even that not even that a guy that's just clarence clarence yeah yeah 
You think at the hobby store? He's just yeah. He spent his whole childhood getting smacked in the back of his head by his mom. Yeah. For like you know like trying to cross the intersection too early or something. I feel like there aren't young Clarences anymore. There's not. Yeah. 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 Then he became a Supreme Court justice. Well, he had to go. He had to go far right probably mm. to account for uh, all the challenges he probably mm -hmm. faced. It's right. like the options were Supreme Court justice or b literally being radio. <laughs> For his name. Radio's real name is probably very close to Clarence Thomas. I don't know his real name. <laughs> yeah, know. It's probably something like it's that. Probably, we gotta look, let's look it up. Check it out. we got to look it up. It is probably Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss Clarence. Yep. His name is Clint. Wait, show me. How did you... You always do that. You knew that. I knew... I, you knew Radio's name was that? Are you really that, that stupid? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you know, you're I was yes ending. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. I, just I saw Googled a picture of Clarence Thomas in a robe. No, you... No. You thought that You was really real. think I'm that You stupid? thought that was real. Of course I thought it was real. What is radio's name? I'm looking it up. Um, radio disambiguation. Films. Uh, so the subsections on Wikipedia are films, music, see also, and mentally retarded people. No. No, no it's not... Not to be confused with Radio Woe, a neighborhood of Warsaw, Poland. Ooh, Dude, that's honestly, probably kind Poland. of a hip hop style radio. I hope Poland. Or, I, look, World War Three is about to happen again. I hope Poland gets absolutely fucked in its ass one more time. What's your beef with the Polish? It's just a stupid country. Oh well, yeah, we all know that. But like, who are they hurting? Honestly, I had no problem with them until I saw the name of that neighborhood just a second ago. Did you, I? I told you. I sent you that article of their army in World War One, right? The yeah. Polish military. Mm -hmm. So funny. They just put on capes and just walked into machine gun fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't get why. Why are they the worst whites? Like, what's 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 the genesis of that? Like, Dutch people are pretty, pretty like stupid too. No. James Kennedy. That's Radio's real name. Oh, so he's a Kennedy. Yeah, he's a Kennedy. Can you imagine killing that Kennedy? Can you imagine that? How funny would that be if they, somebody shot Radio in the head in the 60s? <laughs> and then he goes, Zeron, like, he goes, like, yeah, he goes to the CIA and he's like, mission accomplished. They're like, you monster. And he's like, what? And they're like, not that Kennedy. <laughs> We're, just, we're all heartbroken. They would have had a, a real big laugh about that over Langley. I can yeah, tell you yeah. that. Yeah, he's like, that I don't is know. hilarious. You thought that that guy was? I thought he was one of these civil rights guys. That you were. <laughs> you, must, you shot radio. <laughs> you shot radio in the head. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, coach, my noggin hurts. Yeah. Uh oh, coach. He survives. Yeah. He lives a long time, Radio. He only died like two years ago. Really? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Did he look exactly like Cuba Gooding? No, he looked nothing like him. He actually looked like like Clarence Thomas, kind of. Did he? And James Kennedy Radio. Why was his name Radio? Yeah, no, actually he did look. I said that as a joke, but I do remember he does look like Clarence Thomas. Kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, yes. looks, he looks almost it's, identical to Clarence Thomas, honestly. No, that's a hundred percent true. Yeah, that's Clarence Thomas. How did you do that? That's actually impressive. Yeah, and then radio, and then what do you say, Bl uh, black guy? Radio football. Oh yeah, radio football. Real life. Ra radio T T T C Hannah. What was the name of that fucking high school? Adam, can you turn your pack around? What? I don't know. Ginsburg just texted me. All right. Did I? Is the audio fucked? James. Ginsburg, is the audio fucked? Okay. All right. Anyways, yeah. Uh, folks playing along at home, you can look up radio. Yeah. James Robert Kennedy. AKA you guys radio. are really going to get a kick out of this one. Yeah. Especially all of our British fans mm -hmm. who don't who know exactly who. Clarence Thomas. Do you mm -hmm. think everyone around the world like knows all of our shit? Yeah, we're America. Yeah. You know what's funny? It's like 
it's like you talk about dying empires and America is just like first of all we live in a and we live in like a, a hot a, like a hot culture right like, like sexy well we're pop no not sexy but like the world power is mostly based on like what's hot it's a pop is popularity mm-hmm. aesthetics are now the most important thing in the world and I'd say the United States is too messy to ever really... Like, the world is never going to want to pay attention to what's going on in China. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter how good their economy does, how powerful their military I'll is. I'll learn ping. Right. Nobody's going to... I'll be, learn one guy. Nobody's going like, to know who oh, the vice president is. Yeah, or like fucking like who... Like, oh, the, the cast of... of, of, of uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, they're cheating on each other. Nobody cares about that. (laughs) It just won't ever, like, we have, like, there's never going to be a Chinese version of Jersey Shore. We're the coolest. The closest they got was that guy that drank beer. That was, like, their number one. That guy was awesome. It was the guy that drank beer. And they took him away from us. The party was like, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. This sucks. Yeah. He was awesome, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, they're not messy. They're not uh, messy enough. It's not even messy. It's cool enough. What, America? Yeah, we're awesome. Our culture is awesome. We don't really have a culture, do we? Rock and roll, dunking. Yeah. Radio. Radio? Yeah. All pretty much the tightest shit in the world. That song Radio uh, Goo Goo by Queen, were they making fun of this guy? Was that was that for were. is that why he got AIDS? It's like it was like a karma thing. I think like discriminated groups like will often turn on each other. Yeah, and like the AIDS rock stars turn yeah. on mentally because the lyrics are like all I hear guys. from radio is goo goo. Yeah, for Gaga, I'm a stupid baby. It's really mean. Yeah, it's a mean song. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> radio Gaga. Mm-hmm. What a stupid song. Yeah, actually, it's a great song. The radio. I don't even know it. Really. It's about a little boy growing up in the '40s being in love with his radio. Oh, it sounds like a you kind of thing. I didn't listen to the radio. Yeah, but you're like, not from the '40s. Air raid sirens. You I'm like not machines. Indian. And I'm I didn't, a machine all, lover guy. First of all, I didn't even know I liked air raid sirens until I was about 23 years old. So. You consider that like a bar mitzvah, kind of like becoming a man a little bit? No, I just did by chance. I had an afternoon where I got really into them, and I'm like, I guess I love air raid sirens. So you identify that as an adult interest? Because you know, did it's you, a grown up interest. I would your, hear them your, sometimes as a kid. You know, how sometimes like a volunteer fire department will have one, or like yeah. uh, like a tornado siren, uh-huh. and or in a hockey stadium when they score a goal. No, those are air horns. They do them. The sirens? In sports games. Home runs now get them. They have an air raid. Yeah, it's pretty pimp. Mm. Um, no, I just had an afternoon watching YouTube videos when I was 23. And then I was like, I just had memories of being like a kid and hearing. I remember staying at my cousin's house one time and hearing one out in the distance. And I was like, that's fucking awesome. And they have like, them now for the chassids, for Shabbat. Yeah, they've, had, they've always had that. That's not new. Well, we, we, I'm saying we haven't lived... In New York, our whole lives. But now that we live here, they have them for the chasa. Yeah, but we hear them for the chasa. We've been in New York a decade, and you think like ten years? We're like, I was asking Jamel this. Yeah. Even though he's not from here, he's but he's black, so he's, he's black. based. He's from New York. He's black. Yeah. All black like, people are from New Tim's, York. Tim's Yankee fitted ten years. I feel like. Oh, but you're not from uptown. You probably you probably have spent zoo, zoo Yankees games don't count. The amount of time you spent uptown is in the Bronx. Yeah, I go to Arthur Ave sometimes. Yeah, the, even that doesn't count either. The Bronx Botanical Garden. No, no destination. Like, how much time have you spent hanging out uptown? I hang out the Dominicans. Smoke hookah. Mm-hmm. Are they still wearing Tim's up there? Yeah. They are. Everyone's wearing Tim's. No, that's not a Brooklyn thing. Brooklyn people wear Tim's. But it's not like uh, I feel like it's <laughs> like, an uptown thing. It's a Brooklyn spread. First love. of all, it's a Brooklyn thing. Okay, we're what, in Fort Greene. <laughs> I, I did my time. You live next to like a, a baby, like uh, a, like the gangster baby clothes store. You live I right wish next I lived to closer. I wish it went I out of closer. business. Yeah. Thank God. It went. Out. I I really hope that those that family took out like. A half a million dollar loan, just being like, 
Yeah, now that my job as being a vice photographer has dried up, like this is gonna be like me and my wife, we just know this is this is our take. Just blew their inherited wealth. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's just gone. Yeah. They have to leave New York <laughs> after twenty three years of being and here. They go to a shithole. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're gangster baby stores. The ga- yeah, right. I'm gonna try the gangster baby business in Hudson where they where they uh, appreciate me mm-hmm. a little bit more. Are 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 Gen Z people moving to New York? I guess they have to be. Like uh, it's out in Bushwick, is there like a whole rack? I, I think know. it's still Bushwick. It's, it's still, still Bushwick. It's still Bushwick. I think it's still Bushwick. I won't. I don't want to see it. It would. It would honestly be nauseating. Yeah. To look at it. Well, I was never a Bushwick guy. I never hang hung out there. I went. I lived there first, and I was like, "This is nauseating." Mm-hmm. No, we went to. We saw that the <laughs> in Maria Hernandez Park. That guy was pissed off skating. But that was ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You remember we were playing Settlers of Catan, and I, we figured out uh, my old roommate's fetish. The tickling? No, the tech- that must have been you and Wardell. It wasn't no, me. it was... Wardell doesn't... He's not smart enough to play a Settlers We were Catan. not playing Catan at your house. I'll tell you who we were playing with. Who? Old, uh, old Praxis. So, uh, old Jakey. That was at the three of us were playing. No, no. it was not at the Korean guy's house. It was at the Korean guy's. No, house. you were playing Call of Duty that day. What? We were playing Catan in my apartment in Bushwick, and then we heard the girl from the room dying of laughter. And then you were like, "Is he tickling her?" I was like, "Yeah, I guess I hear girls dying of laughter every night." And uh, then I realized he was a tickle fetishist. I think uh, somebody else was there. I don't think it was me. What? I know for a fact it was you because you figured it out. You didn't have Catan. I had Catan. I didn't have the expansion pack. I had the three to four player. I have the expansion pack. I got the expansion pack a couple years ago. I was like, I'm going to get board games. I'm rich now. I'm going to have board (laughs) games. And I got the expansion pack and never, I haven't even played the regular game. Mm Mm-hmm. Can you imagine now for five or six players? Now you have to make six. Can you friends? imagine ruining that many people's night, dude? Like if you invite six people over to your house, and then once they're there, you're like, "We're playing Catan with the expansion pack." <laughs> Can you imagine being that much of a, just a just a social, just a bad vampire loser, just an awful yeah. yeah. It's kind of akin to when my friend's now wife tried to put on the Hamilton oh, soundtrack. She's a bitch. No, she put on Hamilton a, while we were pre pre gaming. My friend was dating this girl. Now they're married, who, who and she put it? on Hamilton. Right. She's like, "We all like rap, don't we?" Oh my god! And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It is no, but you know what's worse? Than that? It's like it, playing the contest because six. you can re, you can relate that. You can be like, "Oh my god, this bitch put on Hamilton." Uh-huh. You can laugh about it later. If you were like, I felt held this person's hostage house, by it. There was five. They got on Catan in the expansion. You know what's worse? It was my house. Really. She, she had no right. She had your house. She had no right to. She had no right at my house, and I wanted to be nice because my friend just started dating this girl, so I wanted to be a good friend. She had no right. They're married. Who is it? Who's his friend? Ian, Ian Finance. It's Ian Finance. Yeah. Ian's wife. It was pre. It was boyfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. Now it's his wife. Yeah. yeah. Ian. I think it was Ian that jammed gum under the cup that was on he was so badly behaved when he was here he thinks ago. it's funny to like destroy the he studio. smokes cigarettes here. i've never yeah i could see that the thing is i don't understand what he's doing i've never been here when he's been here but it's like he thinks it's like funny to like break like just make a mess in here i don't understand yeah he's like dude it's like the 60s what if i fucking put gum under the cup yeah. and smoked and burned things and well he has to do that in order not to relapse. I'm a rebel without a cause. From what I understand, he has to... Guys, <laughs> I'm a rebel. Guys, I got a little knife. He should have a one-inch blade. He was he bragging to us about just... how we don't understand what it's like on the streets of Newport, Delaware. He's like, you don't understand the crackhead, the punks, uh-huh. the gossips, the queers. Uh-huh. The, okay. Is he having like a Delaware moment because of Joe Biden? He has to like be like, no, I'm Mr. Delaware. I'm not no, going to. Maybe it's that. Maybe Biden has brought out a new a new monster inside of Ian. Yeah, I would hope not. Mm-hmm. I would hope not. In that case, I'm going Trump. Yeah. In that Do you case, ever think that we're living in a simulation, but the point of the simulation isn't humanity? 
It's just we're like subroutines in the program, and the thing is just designed to study Ian Fidance. Yeah. That like we're just like basically agents. We are all the other people in Truman Show. Yeah, we're like yes, but exactly. we don't know we're in the dome, right? We don't know we're in. Well, I would say we're more like the programs from like Matrix Two. Like I always imagine we're myself. everyone else. I'm in. a little Chinese guy with all the keys. I'm a Joe Pantiligon. What's his name? No, that's see, that was a human that got taken. I said Matrix Two. Yeah, but I would be Matrix. I would be human. Sorry. No, you're not human. You don't understand how fully I live life. It seems you don't to understand me, the vigor, Mr. Friedland. You have lived two lives. You are kind of Agent Smith. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Why? I have no interest in in maintaining an order. Everybody has a wrong read about on me. Yourself, first and foremost. You're the wheelchair black guy. I am neither. I am neither a law and order guy, nor am I like a chaotic. You're the bug. You're the bug robots. Huh? You're the mean bug robots that you have to do a EMP pulse to kill. The Sentinels. The Sentinels. Uh, no. Who are you then in Matrix? The Chinese guy with all the keys. I'm Neo. The keymaker. <laughs> I am the keymaker. <laughs> The that guy one. is cool. Yeah. Wait, wait. He's from like 80s me. comedies, that guy. Open no? the door. It's, no, it's not Data. It's not? That's not Short Round. It's not Short Round? No. I'm no. just racist. Yes. He's the premier of China? Uh, yeah, President Xi. He's he's the Japanese prime minister. That was... I feel like it didn't get enough attention when that guy built a gun and killed the ex-prime minister of Japan. Mm-hmm. With like, a, like P, PVC pipes and stuff. That's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. Like the game, what, what's the game? Fallout. What are you looking at? I've key, definitely said that before. Keymaker Matrix 2. It's so played by Randall Duck Kim. Oh, I know who you are, actually. Uh, who? You're the lady that the Merovingian makes bust in her pants. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm the French bath. I'm the French pervert that makes you, makes you cream. From a dessert. He's not paying attention to me. No, I'm looking at this film already. Randall Kim, what is he in? Um, he was in Tora Tora Tora, but as an extra. Oh. And then he wasn't in a movie until 1995. He's Harold, though. In what? Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Yeah. He's in the Thid Red Line. Amazing. As uncredited. Yeah. Anna in The King and I, he plays General Alak. He plays Shu in The Lost Empire. Um, he plays the key maker in Matrix Reloaded. Wow. He plays Dr. Crab in Memoirs of a Geisha. Let's keep going. Year of the Fish, Kung Fu Panda. Oh, he's Master Ugwe. In what? Kung Fu Panda. Shout out to the yeah. Kung Fu. Have Panda. you ever seen that movie? I've never seen it. Master Uguay is so funny, dude. I've he's never like, seen he's it. He's a turtle. But it's Jack Black, no? He's, yeah. So Master Uguay is the, uh-huh. the turtle who's like, so there's like the one Kung Fu master is a little raccoon guy. And so he's the one that has to train Kung Fu Panda and he's uh-huh. like reluctant to do it. But his master is an old Chinese turtle. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't really do much karate anymore? He's just like like the spirit of the forest. He's like Yoda. Yoda. Yeah, basically. Yeah. But they animate him in a way. They're like, make this turtle Chinese, just fucking chai ass. <laughs> <laughs> like just crank it through a lab. He's like the co- Lando's co-pilot. Yeah. Well, he's like he's like shaking the whole time, and he's always like licking his lips and like a very old Chinese guy way. He's like. You are most uh, remember the age. And it's the key Secret. maker doing yeah, that. Yes, the key maker. You know. So sick. Yeah. Master Uguay. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Master Uguay. Um, yeah, Dude. yeah. Let me look at this fucking guy. He's he's squinting. Do you remember the. the... <laughs> <laughs> he's like fucking they're like yeah make it like what would a what would a turtle doing a racist impression of a Chinese guy look like that's so funny yeah do you remember the Jewish turtle in Rocco's Modern Life uh, Philbert no. his best friend mm-hmm. be, I'm nauseous it is time to be trusted with the secret to limitless power to become the dragon warrior Master Ugwe, you summoned me. 
Is something wrong? I just wanted to see who the dragon warrior was. How interesting. <laughs> Why must something be wrong for me to want to see my old friend? Master, are, are you pointing at me? Yeah, well, that's like the other thing, too, is like the movie is, they're all in China. Right. And he's the only character that's like Chinese. Yeah, that's like the, bizarre. It's just like, the, like even Kung Fu Panda, it's Jack, Jack Black. Black. Yeah, it's cool. And then the rest of them are like, you know, they have Chinese names or whatever. But they're Americans. Yeah, they all sound American. And then there's one that's like, you actual Chinese. remember to get him. Yeah. But it shows that he knows the most about karate and he's the wisest. Mm -hmm. He's Confucian. You must bereave. No way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you mean, no way? That That's a line in the movie? You must believe. Oh, I thought he's, he actually says bereave. Kung Fu Band is good, dude. The first time I watched it, I was it was when I first moved to Austin, and uh, the first thing I did was I bought an ounce of weed. You, you bought a zip, which it was only sixty dollars. So it was trash. It was the worst. I mean, it seeds, was stems, off like a meth addict lady. My like my my roommate who was like a ex con bricklayer brought me to some meth addict's <laughs> house to buy an ounce of weed off this lady. Yeah. She's just like... 60 bones? Yeah, we're like hold just a, a, a body made of cigarettes, you know? And she's like, yeah, I bought this fucking, you know, this ounce of just... Uh, it was like dark green. It gives like, you a headache. No, there was no buds on it. Yeah, right, exactly. So I smoked the entire sucks. thing. That weed sucks. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, I might as well just get just try to get as high as possible, even though this is like making me feel like shit. I got to finish it. And then I drove to fr the Fry's Electronics next to my house. Because I didn't really know what to do. And when I moved down there, I was living, like, an, like actually pretty far outside of the city. So I went to the Fry's Electronics, where the front of the store just looks like a big grand piano. So sick. Yeah. Especially when you're high. Fry's was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fry's was an awesome store. That shit's definitely out of business. Um, Fry's had everything. Yeah. It looked like a piano... Yeah, it's only the one in Austin. Why, what's the point of that, though? It's not a music shop. Yeah, it's, so that, that, it had like a grand piano as the entrance. To the so store. cool. So, um, yeah, I went there and they had the like, uh, you know, the home theater section. And I kind of like just stumbled in. And you the, watched it there. I sat down and watched Kung Fu Panda there. Did you, you, Nobody hit, bothered you hit the me. binger? No, I mean before. Do you I remember that video of those guys at Ikea hitting smoking weed? Yes. And they're all like 12, and there's one 65-year-old man smoking with them? Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, badass. yeah. Yeah. Damn, maybe I'll watch Kung Fu Panda 2 tonight. I wonder, where does it go? Who's the bad guy? Hmm? The Huns? The Mongolians? Yeah. It's, it's let's get down to business to defeat the, Ch the Huns. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to do the business. Let's give these guys business uh, to, to defeat, defeat all of the, the woman. It looks a the I'd biz. Still, she says it's a guy, but I'd still Anyways. probably hit it. What the hell were we talking about? Fries Electronics? I thought we were talking about penman shit. I miss I miss stores. You know there's you know what it's called? What it's called when there's a retailer it was like you know when you go to a place and they have a dick sporting goods and a Best Buy? And like a Bed Bath and Beyond a shopping or, center. No, those are called power centers. No. Yeah. I've never heard that. And they're called power centers. By who? By real estate developers. But really? Yeah. How do we get in on? I that? feel like tucking my hair into my hat makes me look like I have breast cancer. It makes it no. It makes you look like you're Sikh. Yeah. Yeah. Like you. I would love to be Sikh. The, apparently, at Toronto's. Just lousy with Sikhs. And just fucking just drive Uber all day, never get stressed out. I'm like, traffic? Great. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Not even smoking weed. Have you seen their just symbol? Wearing, wearing my bracelet and get a manicure and I go home to my sword. Yeah, their symbol has a sword in the middle. It's yeah. fucking badass. Yeah. It looks like Klingon, kind of. Yeah. It looks like alien, kind of like logo. And they, they are, are the, the fucking like the seal of Iran looks like Klingon to me. That's a similar kind of looking thing. Mm hmm. How do we help Iran out? I think they're going to kind of implode on their own. They don't have money. They're making nukes. That's good. That 
Honestly, their money, their money will respect probably, their for money that, will huh? probably be fine. Huh? They're, 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 China has their back. China and Russia and Brazil. And yeah. So they'll be fine in an economic standpoint. It's just I don't know how much longer they can get away with having the the problem will be prosperity because it's like I don't think they can continue being like a Islamic republic forever. They just they just did the thing. They hang people from a crane. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can keep doing that. Apparently, if they catch you being gay, they give you a pussy. Yeah, that's true. That's pr- that's a wild policy. But like, they're hanging people for like throwing sandals at a judge. I mean, it's like you can't. You can't do that. Right, you can't. They got. They either got to stop the executions or pick a more humane way of executing people. You can't do it with construction equipment. For throwing a shoe, you shouldn't kill. Yeah, well, I mean, you can kill, but at least put some like our our killing. Your issue is the gear. I don't, I'm against the death penalty, Same. but at least the way we do it is like, I mean, California, they do like a mini Auschwitz. They have a gas chamber, you know. It's I thought like, that was like Utah, no? No, it's California. They hang in Utah still. They do firing range in Utah still. So pimp. Yeah, that's You get cool. a bug. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's probably the most humane way to die. Instant. Well, yeah, your like heart explodes, basically. You yeah. get fucking, it's basically like, you know, because it's five, it's like 10 bullets into your, it just blows out your heart. They don't go headshot? Mm-mm. But what if, know. you know what would be really scary? If they had five girls. No. And they all missed, and the, you're still alive? The, the lethal injection is off? like, that one gets botched all the fucking time, because they have to get like. I know that. They have to get like medicine from vets, like expired medicine from Yeah, it doesn't work all the time. It doesn't work, and when it doesn't work, it's like, you know, it's like three drugs. Like the barbiturates are supposed to knock you out so you can't feel any pain. Mm-hmm. And then the next drug is basically just like salt that like boy like burns all your fucking like uh you, you know, wake car- up like screaming well yeah i mean it's like basically your blood is fire if the barbiturates don't work so then you're paralyzed and you can't scream and you're just like entire insides are burning <laughs> no, i mean it's like it's fucking insane the, the electric chair is the same thing the electric, that shit doesn't work all the time either. the electric chair is just they just basically they just they're cooking you i think they put that into retirement in the electric chair? I'm pretty sure. Well, there's still a lot of guys that choose the electric chair over the lethal injection. Really? Yeah. Because they're metal. I mean, if Ride they keep the, lightning, the, if they keep the death penalty, style. you should be able to pick whatever option, which style you want. Mm-hmm. That's what I would say. If I was ever a death row, I'd be like, suck my dick to death. That's what I was, I was thinking myself, too. Yeah. Honestly, if we did that game where we thought of the same thing, mm-hmm. tel- telepathy? we would have gotten it. You want to see if telepathy is Suck real? my dick to death. All right, just... Choose a, a word. Mm, I can't and write it, and then we'll show the word, and it'll be the... I feel like... Oh, was, write the same word. Pick a category. Adam? Tennis? That's not a category. I mean, it could, kind of. But hard. it's so limited. I mean... What, yeah, yeah, make it harder. Um, like, you would say sports, and then tennis would be what we both wrote down. Not tennis, and then we both write down a ball. I don't Racket. Know. Yeah, right. Net. King Charles. Or King, what's it? I was going to say this. Richard. King you Richard. You the other move is? Perfect crime. You get the death penalty. Final meal. You ask to eat the electric chair. Yeah. You said, I want to eat. That's what I Smart. want as my meal. I want to eat the electric Did chair. Did you die from heavy metal poison? No, you just eat the chair, and then, or you have a couple. You eat the important parts, mm-hmm. and then you're like, oh, I'm stuffed. And they're like, all right, well... We're going to have to postpone the execution. I'm like, well, the, legally, I get another meal. So right. um, let, me know when, let me know when the chair is fixed, and then we'll, I'll have my actual final meal, <laughs> and I will be having the chair. <laughs> right. Once again, I'll be having the chair. So you just have to eat chair for the rest of your life. You indefinitely postpone your own execution by eating mm-hmm. the chair, and then the entire time writing cruel letters to the family of the eight-year-old you ran over. Yeah. Say, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I'm sorry I murdered your son. Mm-hmm. Not. It wouldn't be. <laughs> it said no one ever. Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be so funny at sentencing to give the most so- sarcastic apology. That little piece apology. of shit and his friends think it's cool oh, I'm to, play, so sorry. to play tag in my yard. We can play. Okay, but let's keep playing. Go ahead. Keep playing tag, I said. Now my 1995 Ford Bronco is also playing. Mm -hmm. I thought we had a stand your ground law in this Mm -hmm. damn state. I felt threatened. Mm -hmm. 
Your son was raping me with his eyes. All right, let's do it. Give us a better category. Uh, vegetables. Vegetables. That's not that one. Okay. Fuck, it's not a vegetable. I'm so stupid. Where you put tomato down? I put cucumber. That's a vegetable. But it has seeds. I, I, first of all, I, I, that's another thing I don't want to know. You know what we were talking about earlier? Mm -hmm. I just don't want to know which one is technically what. Who cares? Yeah, that's like a thing for, that's a, that is very much a millennial thing. Yeah. 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 That's a Jim and Pam style. Yeah. All right, let's, oh, uh, okay. Vegetable. Um... All right, so I wrote down broccoli. I wrote down squash. Damn. But I also drew broccoli around where I wrote it down. That's very creative. Mm -hmm. That's very creative. Okay, let's try again. Second second round. Same with vegetable. No. Dude, We're going to no. get it second round. No, no. We'll see how many t rounds we need. What is the Supreme Court case that determines whether fruits are fruits and vegetables? Is it Nix versus Hedden? 1890. That's a real thing? I think it is. I think it's a Supreme Court case. It's Nix versus Hedden, isn't it? 1893. Yeah. 1893? Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. What? I'm not going to respect the Supreme Court ever again mm -hmm. after finding that out. What a waste of time. Okay, mm -hmm. let's try it. Vegetable. One more. Justice Horace Gray. Can you imagine that name? Come on. Mm-hmm. They're not a serious bo, 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 bo. Can I get a, a slice of pussy off you, ma'am? Can you imagine he wrote a fucking opinion? Yeah, right. he, like, dude, would you mind if I got a piece of pussy off you for Mr. Horace? This fucking just mongoloid dope made it all the way to the Supreme Court. <laughs> yeah, everybody used to be a fucking idiot. Yeah. Can you imagine going back there in time and just being the smartest guy in the world? Mm -hmm. You know, every chick would you, you trick them into f fucking you mm -hmm. with logic. I sometimes I think about that as like going back to feudal times. Mm -hmm. and just Those get, people are idiots. Just getting top off a of peasant. Uh -huh. Just tell them you're the Lord. Yeah. Just be like, yeah, I'm the Lord. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Mm -hmm. They don't have teeth also. Yeah. They, those chicks had to be so nasty. Yeah, probably. No. What chick would you... You need like a maid, a milk maiden, mm -hmm. a big titty. How busted were women in the 1500s? Yeah, look that up. How busted were? What was the most busted era <laughs> in 1500s? Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh my god, dude, they were fucking terrible. Honestly, I would, though, I would not fuck. That's the thing. It's like dick. as soon as time machines were in like invented. I mean, I'd do it. I'd go back and I'd be like, "Well, let's see." You would fuck that. Just show the camera. Well, just because I'm from the future, so you would for like academic purposes. Yeah, you just hold on to whatever the. What are, the a, are those her ears? What is she, that on top? <laughs> what? How does she look like that? I don't know. You think if you lived in France? Honestly, this looks like the kind of women you would be dating if you didn't have. If you Me? were, yeah, if you weren't famous. If society told me that was a hot kind of woman, I if probably you, would. Listen. If you, if you were like, I, I did what my Come dad did, on, and I, brother. Daddy told me to become a paralegal, so I am. That no. wasn't. That was my job before becoming a an attorney. Yeah, you would never. I was gonna be a life. I was gonna be a lifelong. You never parent. would have made it. I would have been such a bad lawyer. Mm -hmm. Look at my lawyer, dog. I'm going to jail. I would just try to give the most passionate speeches for like my closing argument. Mm -hmm. Try to get one of those like, you know, one of those kind of moments, like a movie. Mm -hmm. Ginsburg, where are we at, by the way? Uh, okay, we're wrapping it up, guys. I have to go. Yeah, Adam's got to catch a flight. You're going to Shh. what? Why am I? What do you mean? Okay. I have this isn't like this is not the first of all this is not seven years ago when one of us would get a commercial and it had to be kept a secret mm -hmm. that you've been hired for this job because of who you are don't get it no. through your head that you're pretty it's a physical thing adam's been hired to model clothes for and they're, pay, they're paying him 
let's say, an amount of money that pisses me off. Nick is mad about it, and he's not excited for me. And I would think that you would get excited by having a friend that's a model. I would think that you would think that's a cool thing. I would if I didn't have to, like, hey, that's the other thing. I guess I'll be at the Columbus Funny Bone. Oh, fuck. In mid February, and then touring starts again. I have no material. I have, I have no plan. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll bring someone funny to feature, but I guarantee you those shows, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. I have, I can't do crowd work. I refuse to do it. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, the old tour will end. There's, I have shit I have to do. I don't have time to just be... Do, just do... I do not have time to be... I was like, it's like, okay, well, take a two-month break from touring, and I'll just go do spots every night. I don't have time for that. Sounds like it's going to be awesome. 19th and 20th of January, Tampa, Florida. I would much rather just be modeling. I'm hoping that I could don't have to do stand up again model. You were saying Nick was saying yesterday. You're in Tampa. You're at Side Splitters. Tampa. When? Two weeks from now. What are your ticket sales at? Probably fourteen. That's a fun club, dude. Our ju- our careers are failing right now. It's fucking bad. It's bad right now. Yeah. Why? I can't. Oh, shit. I'm peeing.